Hello everyone, it's me, Ginger, and a long while back, um, whew, months ago, actually, um, a couple years ago, I'm starting to think, I did a video where, uh, it was for a contest where I explained how I started my YouTube channel and why a 13-year-old is playing with small plastic toys and answered the big question, does she have mental issues? And the answer is no. Surprisingly, am I right? But, um, what I'm gonna do today is recreate that video, but, you know, with better lighting, a better background, and just overall way better quality. Alright, so basically, this video is aimed at anybody who is new to my channel and anybody who knows me personally, who's like, what's the deal, Ginger? What are you doing with your life? So... Yeah, I should probably give a, sp a fair explanation, and sorry about my voice, I've had a pretty bad cold. Um, so anyways, huh, I guess I'll just start from when I first got an LPS, at least, and for those of you who know me personally, LPS is the abbreviation for Littlest Pet Shop, which is the, um toy that I use to, um, produce scripted videos, um, so yeah, but I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, yes, it's technically playing with a children's toy, um, I mean, why sugarcoat something that everybody already knows, um, so anyways, when I was, I'm thinking like three or four, I got my first LPS, and my first LPS, um, it came in a little packet, not packet, but, like, box thingy, and, um, it was a Great Dane, it had a little rain umbla umbrella, and it was a fuzzy pet, like, it had fur, like, actual fur, and, um, it had a rain hat, um, I don't know what number it is or if it actually has an identification number because um, the older LPS or like prototypes and stuff like that, which this LPS was not a prototype, but those ones have um, odd things about them, like they might not have a number. So I'm thinking maybe he doesn't have a number, but maybe he does. I don't know. But anyways, um, I just kind of fell in love with it. It was when I was younger, anyways, what I kind of did with them was, I wouldn't really, the word isn't really play, because it wasn't, it wasn't improv, you know, like, what I would do is, if I got into a rut in, like, a social situation, I would play it out with my LPS, like, one LPS would be me, and one LPS would be somebody else, or maybe a group of people that I was afraid to approach, and I would do several scenarios, like, I would just basically play out conversations so that I could figure out, like, how to speak to people and what to say. And I have better ways of doing it now. Nowadays, I definitely never use my LPS for, like, social help. Um, I just, you know, I just wing it in real life and see what happens because I've grown a little bit wiser now. Um, but that was what I used them for back when I wasn't a very social person. Um, so, yeah, and, um, I came across a video by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Sophie Garrett. Her YouTube channel is Sophie GTV, and basically she has this LPS series, and it's scripted, and it's called LPS Popular. She originally started doing it for her little brother, and, well, I got into it, and several other people did. She has so many subscribers. I think she has, like, 300,000 or something. She used to have, like, 2 million, but she doesn't anymore. Several, a lot of people unsubscribe because she doesn't upload regularly anymore. And people just kind of grew old and, you know, bored of it. Um, but basically, I found her channel when she was heavily popular. Um, and her series was just amazing, you know, at my age, I was like, wow, you know, the video editing is so amazing, the voice acting is so amazing, everything about it is just wowing, it's crazy, and I just, you know, and I discovered this when I was like six, and I was just like, geez, you know, this person makes a living by making these videos, 
this is something that I want to do. I want to do this. And so, obviously, I went straight to my mom. I'm like, Mom, I'm going to start making videos. I'm going to get a YouTube channel. Obviously, she didn't allow it. I was, like, six. Um, but I still was persistent, and I wouldn't leave her alone about it. And what I'd do is I'd make videos myself, and I'd make my own series or whatever, and basically I'd use these LPS as characters. Because obviously, I couldn't hire real people. Real people would not work for a six-year-old, nor would they work for me now to produce a scripted video. So I just use these guys. Um, so yeah. <laughs> And so, yeah, um, I did that for a long time, and I would just make the videos without uploading them, and, you know, I had this junky Generation 4 iPod, and I'd film these very crappy videos, and I'd be like, whoa, that's a masterpiece. The lighting was terrible, the voice acting was terrible, there was no plot, no character development. It was trash, but I mean... I was really proud of myself. Even though I didn't make sets or props or anything, I was still so, so proud. So, it was special to me. Um, so I kept at that. And, you know, down the road I turn, um, 11, and this is the point where I'm just like, I have got to get this YouTube channel, I gotta get it started now, this is something that I wanna do. And at the time I was 11, um, I didn't know, I, I no longer actually, like, wanted to play with the LPS. Um, what I wanted to do was, I wanted to practice voice acting. Um, when I was 11, I wanted to be a voice actress when I grew up. And so I would make these series with my LPS so that I could practice voice acting, plus my little sister enjoyed LPS as well, and she really likes my videos. So I do it for her as well, and she enjoys it. And, you know, once again, with the voice acting, I wanted to be a voice actress when I grew up. So that, was, that was the main premise of what I was doing. So I got my channel when I was 12, and... Um, Wait, no, no, I was 11, sorry, I was 11, yeah, and so I got it, and I made videos, um, by the time I turned 12, I kind of realized that voice acting wasn't for me, but since my sister enjoys my YouTube channel, and since I was gaining subscribers, I just, I just kept doing it, and I still just keep doing it, um, but I don't, I don't quote-unquote play with them, um, it is more professional than that. Um, I write down plots. I kind of do scripts. I plan things out. Um, the work that goes into a scripted video for a quote-unquote series of mine is actually quite a process. It can take hours upon hours to film an episode, and that's filming. That's not even revising and editing and stuff, um, you know, it's a lot more than, oh, let's take out the camera and get the LPS, it's no, hold on, let's revise the rough draft for the first episode, let's make sure the characters are true to the personalities that I gave them, let me make sure I remember everybody's names, um, hold on, what does so-and-so sound like? Does she have an accent of any kind? Let me go check the papers. Oh, crap, what is supposed to happen in this scene? What What's going on now? Ugh, I gotta go get the notebook again and see. You know, like, it's, it's a lot more than, like, what it seems like on the surface. There's actually a lot of work that goes into it. So you can, like, make fun of me or think whatever, because honestly, I've been dealing with it for years, so I'm at the point where it doesn't actually bother me anymore. Well, I mean, yeah, it is really annoying, but it doesn't, like, offend me anymore. So, I mean, you can say what you want, but that's just me telling you that um, when I make these videos, it's actually like a person producing a movie, you know? Directors don't just get out the camera and say... Okay, guys, do your thing. <laughs> like, no. It is over and over and over and over until it's absolutely perfect. Um, you know, I don't settle for, okay, I want it to be perfect because this is a thing that I enjoy. And, you know, like I said, I can practice voice acting. And while, no, I no longer want to be an actress, 
it is it is something that I have in my tool belt, you know, if I ever get to a point where um McDonald's doesn't want me working for them anymore because uh of these videos. <laughs> I can, you know, maybe go in for voice acting, which once again, not something I think I could actually make a career out of. But, you know, it's something that I have in my tool belt. And, you know, if somebody comes up to me and they're like, dude, your YouTube channel is stupid, you know, it's like, dude, well, how many subscribers do you have? Oh, 10? Wow! So, tell me again how yours is better than mine, please? Because I don't hear you talking. All I hear is blah, blah, blah. I'm actually kind of jealous. So, uh, yeah. You can take that to your grave. And look, I'm generally not a mean person, but when it comes to offending me, I mean, if you're going to offend me without being able to back it up, then you've got a storm coming. I mean, if you have, like, 700 subscribers and you knock on my YouTube channel, that's fine, because clearly yours is actually better than mine. But, you know, if I look at your channel and you've got, like, 15 subs, I'm not going to let you push me around, because clearly... I'm kind of better than you, so yeah. And once again, that's not meant to be rude, that's just me, you know, saying my piece and defending myself and trying to explain that what I do is meaningful and it's not just, you know, me playing or whatever. It's, it's a lot more. Alright, well, that's it for today's video. Um, I just really, really hope it helps raise awareness for anybody in the LPS community for any reason at all, you know, if maybe they're insecure about it, or maybe, you know, if they're just afraid to let their talent shine, because regardless of what kind of videos you make, maybe you do Call of Duty, maybe you do Minecraft Let's Plays, whatever you do, it's not embarrassing, okay? A lot of your time goes into the videos that you produce. A lot, a lot of blood, sweat, tears, everything. It all goes into your videos, and you're sharing an entirely new experience, an entirely new world to all of these people who, you know, who are subscribed to you. So if for any reason, you know, if you're an LPS tuber, or maybe if you do something else, and like, you know, you're afraid to do it anymore, or you're insecure, just don't be, you know? Like, if you think what you do might be embarrassing on YouTube, then just look at my channel, you know. I mean, chances are I'm older than you anyways. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing this, you know. Like, if I can do this, then whatever it is that you do that you might think is so embarrassing, whether it's LPS to quote-unquote cringy gameplays, it's really not. It's really not. You put so much time into what you do, and you're so passionate about it. So be proud, you know. Um, so that's all for today. If you watched this video, um, add the word yellow to your comments, um, if you actually made it to the end, because I'm curious to see who really watched it all. Alright, so if you're interested in any more videos, please subscribe, please like, please comment, and, um, check out all my social media, you know, DM me on Instagram, I'll DM you back. Let's be friends!